-hmm. So, if you see, the power decided to go out as I was about to shoot this. So, now we're recording in the dark. But, that doesn't matter, because this Sunday, it is WWE Extreme Rules, which really isn't Extreme Rules, because there's only one match with a stipulation. But regardless, it is another WWE pay-per-view, which means we have to predict WWE Extreme Rules. Welcome to a brand new episode of Kimmy Talks Wrestling, and we are starting... I am recording this Thursday night, and I know there's going to be more matches announced between when this gets uploaded, which is tomorrow morning, which is Friday, and Sunday. So right now, there's only six matches announced, unless they're going to announce matches while I have no power, and it's dark. So the first match is Liv Morgan versus Carmella in a regular singles match. Remember, there's only one match with a stipulation. And I'm really excited because there's three women's matches on the card. It's like that we learned after we complained to them about how they are going backwards in their division and they don't know what they're doing and they're like the like the pull women's matches. So this feud is really interesting to me because Liv has really been MIA on TV since Money in the Bank and they're just starting to that's magic! Power! Guys, that was magic, by the way. That was on camera. We are... Ooh, now I can turn this off. So, anyway. So, um... Liv Morgan, right. So she was MIA, and now they're trying to bring her back. I definitely think she's a top contender for Queen of the Ring, which I think they're going to announce soon, because the finals are supposed to take place at the next pay-per-view in Saudi Arabia. And I really think Liv needs some momentum, but also Carmella has not had the best winning streak of 2021, like Seth Rollins. But I'm going to pick Liv Morgan. I think she needs this win, especially that they're trying to put her in a more focusable spot on SmackDown. So Liv Morgan is my pick. From there, we are sticking on the blue brand as we go towards the SmackDown Tag Team Championships between the Usos and the Street Profits. Here's the problem with WWE's tag team division. They have no freaking tag teams. That's why we're seeing the same matches over and over and over and over and over again. But with that being said, the Usos are not losing. The Bloodline is the hottest thing on WWE TV right now. They have all the gold. They have one of the best selling merchandises ever. That black and white t-shirt is phenomenal with all the gold. WWE needs to bring up some tag teams from NXT or recruit some more tag teams the next time they're going to do an open tryout. We need tag teams. So please, WWE, we need to fix the tag team division. It's the main thing you need to do, fix tag team division. But the Usos are not losing. The Usos are going to retain and hopefully move on to a different feud with a different tag team. I can't think of a tag team off the top of my head that they could wrestle. But, I mean, I guess they're going to feud with the New Day. But then I feel like Roman and everyone has to move over to Raw. But I don't know. But I feel like, oh, that's going to be a match of Survivor Series. Um, Woods and Kofi versus Usos. It's going to be a match of Survivor Series. And I'm going to Survivor Series in 59 days. Next... It, we're flipping over to Raw. For the United States Championship, we have a triple threat match between Damian Priest, Sheamus, and Jeff Hardy. So this match is really interesting because two months ago, Jeff Hardy was jobbing out to Karrion Cross, or winning against Karrion Cross, then jobbing, and then he was in the 24-7 title, so we're doing a lot of things here. I definitely think Hardy's taking the pin, no matter if Sheamus or Damian's gonna win, but I think since Damian just won the title at SummerSlam, that he needs to keep it on him a little bit longer. Remember, Damian is an older superstar so I don't think he's going to be around like not that he's not gonna be around for much longer but like going like on the coattail of his career you know he's like 37 so I think that he, he needs to keep the title on him I think there's a bunch of new feuds that you could do on Rob with a lot of mid-card talent so I'm picking with the retain Damian Priest from there, we go on to the Raw Women's Championship between Charlotte Flair and Alexa Bliss. Now, I know that a lot of people are not going to agree with me, but I am picking Alexa Bliss. I don't think that Charlotte needs a long title reign, and I think if you put the belt on Alexa, it opens up a lot of opportunities and just so much more fun things you could do. Um, yes, Alexa Bliss is the creepy one. Oh, you're just looking out the window. I was just looking out the window. Oh, I thought you were judging me for my pack. My roommate's staring at me because we couldn't leave the room when it was dark. 
but now she could leave. But you know, she's just chilling. Anyway, I'm trying to finish my calendar. <laughs> you should put on there um, September 26th Extreme Rules. The what? Extreme Rules on September 26th. What's Extreme Rules? The pay per view I'm talking about. I'm not putting that on my calendar. You can put it on your own. It is. Okay, then it can stay there. <laughs> she's so mean. I'm big on Alexa Bliss. I think, especially that you're breaking up Shayna and Nia, Alexa and Shayna, you could rehash that again. When ba Bailey should be coming back soonish, so you could do that as well. And just, can you imagine the Lily dolls sell so well now? Can you imagine the Lily dolls selling with the Raw Women's Championship accessory? WWEshop.com. I will definitely take the royalties for that because I'm on fire. So I'm picking what? It's true! This doll literally sells! It's insane. It's creepy. I'm picking Alexa Bliss. Um, my goddess. The one and only. That's my pick. And also Five Feet Furry, because I'm Five Feet Two. You know, we got a twin. Short people, gosh, support short people. And from there, we move on to the much more interesting Women's Championship match between Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair. So excited. So... I think this match needs a lot more time than at SummerSlam. Becky cannot defeat Sasha. Uh, not Sasha. <laughs> Becky cannot defeat Bianca in 26 seconds. That was really bad. I think Becky needs a huge momentum win to carry her on. The SmackDown Women's roster is so in depth right now, especially with the Tony Storm, who I could definitely see towards the end of 2021, early 2022, wrestle Bianca, wrestle Becky. I can't talk. Wow. Or. You could also have, if Sasha is going to come back, you could have that too, you know, for horsewomen. That would be super cool as well. So I'm picking Becky. I think that this is going to be one of the more better matches on the card. This is actually my sleeper match because this card really isn't that good. So I'm picking Becky Lynch. And from there, we actually go into our main event. There's only six matches on this card. So remember, the World Heavyweight Championship match There's is There's a quiz on my birthday. <laughs> In what class? Web design. Tell him to move it. How dare he? That means I have to actually show up to class on my birthday. He definitely did it purposely. He did. He definitely looked at the roster and was like, oh, Allie's birthday's this day. I'm gonna. He put a quiz. And we're doing Dreamweaver. Audio and video on Dreamweaver. I don't even like Dreamweaver. It's Dreamweaver. <laughs> don't care! Say it right. Nah, I'm just saying how whatever his name said it. Shaw. What you are. I'm not as crazy as you. Hey, people watch this. I'm good. I'm good at my job. And then all the viewers are going to go down and Kyle's going to kill me. But, our main event. So, the World Heavyweight Championship match has not been announced. The IC title match has not been announced. Rollins is not on the card. This is... Oof. But, you know, the Saudi show's next, and the Saudi show always gets in our way. But, in our only match with the stipulation, we have Roman Reigns versus the Demon Finn Balor. So, I actually got a lot of texts wondering, like, why like the demon was coming or what I thought of the demon. I like the demon persona. I think it makes it a lot more interesting because, you know, you could definitely build the story of, oh, Roman could beat Finn Balor, but can Roman defeat the demon? Because the demon is a whole different side of Finn Balor as we've seen in NXT or even in New Japan and on the indies. So it makes the story that much more conveying, which is why I think they did it and plus ratings. So with that being said, there was no shot in hell Finn Balor is winning this match. Um, I also don't know what you do with Finn Balor from here. I think you can have a few with Shinsuke for the IC title. I think that would be an interesting storyline to go with and have Finn win the IC title and put the IC title back on the map just because the IC title is definitely getting lost in the shuffle and it's been a problem for the last, like, two years. They don't know how to use that belt and it sucks. Roman's gonna win. There's no way Roman is losing. Like I said with the Usos, they're, the bloodline's just too hot right now. He's gonna go into this match with Brock at Saudi and just... I don't want to say kill Brock, but, like, it's going to be an intense match. But, yeah, so those are my predictions. Like I said, there's only six matches announced. The card really isn't that good, so I'm hoping that tomorrow on SmackDown, or tonight on SmackDown, because this game goes on Friday, that they announce more matches and more match with stipulation, because this ain't Extreme Rules. This is basically, hi, I'm a regular pay per view of one Extreme Rules match, and that's how WWE rolls. But that's it for me, and I'll see you tomorrow with my SmackDown and Rampage review. Do you have any last memos or updates or anything else you want to share? No.
That's why I have midterms back to back. I have three finals in one day. She's complaining about a midterm and a quiz. Hey, I have three midterms one or three exams one day too. I have web design, marketing, and I forget the last one. One more year, then I'll be signing a contract somewhere. Hopefully. I mean, uh, Ring of Honor.